Hi, in the previous video we talked about how can we use the system configuration tool and set up a new project in the Code Composer Studio. And then we executed this lineup code which gave us the addresses of all the sensor that are connected on the I2C bus. But in this video we will build upon the same project and add code to this, the source and header files using which we will get data from the accelerometer. Now we will go to the header file and add some code to this file. Here I will create a class and I will name it as wire. All the function will go into this class. These functions are begin transmission, read, write, end transmission, request from and handle and not acknowledge statement. I have deliberately kept the names of these functions the same that we used in Arduino for I2C communication. That is to make it easy to use and easy to remember. These functions are not universal so it may not work for other sensors but a little more addition to the code can make it compatible for all I2C based devices. Now we go to the source file and make some changes in the source file as well. You see uh, in the source file the first function is already written. We will modify it slightly and then we will add the remaining functions that we have defined in the header file. Here in the begin transmission function the first thing we do is to check if the I2C line is not busy and then we make sure that the stop bit is clear then we configure the i2c in master mode and in repeat mode followed by setting up the slave address of the device finally we send a start condition to send the data and then wait for the transmission to be completed in the other function we carry the same methodology we look for certain interrupt flags to be clear to proceed safely the request function is according to the data sheet of this specific sensor so if the protocol for a sensor is different, modification in this function is necessary. The last function written is basically checking for a not acknowledged statement on the I2C bus. Now we will build the project and see if there is any error in the project or not. After I built the project, there were a lot of errors that I removed one by one. These were mostly related to syntax and some silly typing mistakes. Uh, these are not important to discuss so we will just go through it uh, very fast and by the way this code is uploaded on github as well so you can get the code from there you don't have to copy it from the screen and after re removing these errors uh, we can now call uh, these function that we have written in the source file in the main file I just uh, uh, copied and pasted these lines of code because I already had written them in the somewhere else. These line of code basically set the control register of the sensor which you can find in the data sheet and then in the while loop we read 6 bytes of I2C data here I am transmitting the data on the serial port as well and how the serial port works and how we transmit data onto the terminal I will discuss it in the in another video uh, for now you can use it uh, just like I have used it here and finally there was a, when i built the project there was an issue with the setting setting up the setting up of the serial communication interface uh, basically by default the code composer studio thinks that the board attached to the computer is a control card so we have to specifically tell it that uh, this is not a control card rather it is a launch pad and to do that we will go to the properties predefined samples and then we will add this uh, launch excel name there and now if we execute the code and here you see the data coming from the terminal so it means the sensor is working uh, fine in the code composer studio and we are getting the data on the terminal port as well in the next video we will talk about the serial communication interface and the idea is that we will develop a program here in the code composer studio that will send some data over the serial port and then we will catch that data in a python application so that's it for this video and i hope i will see you in the next video thank you